Life City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby coming at you from the grocery store on the north side of Chicago on a beautiful day. But that's about to come to an end because we're coming into fall and cold and winter season. I really want to stress how important it is to boost your immune system this winter. And this video is all about the best foods to boost your immune system when it comes to vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D. We're gonna go around the grocery store, show you the foods highest in those vitamins, and I also wanna recommend a supplement I started taking today that really helps you boost your immune system too, because I think if you combine the supplement with a lot of foods that are rich in those vitamins too, you really stay strong like bull and do your immune system a favor. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are grand, but the most important thing is a bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications, because in addition to these videos we do every week, we have three live stream cooking demos, demos making healthy recipes from start to finish, and you do not want to miss out. Okay, let's go do some shopping. The fishmonger is one of the best places to get vitamin D, and it comes in the form of salmon, but specifically one kind of salmon. We all need vitamin D because the only way your body produces it is via sunlight and about half of the people don't get enough sunlight, but me thinks that that number has increased lately because of the quarantine, everyone stayed inside, vitamin D levels went even down more, which means your immune system is even more susceptible. So what do you do to boost it? Check it out. You wanna get salmon, but wild salmon is where it's at. Check this out. Three and a half ounce portion has 124% of your daily recommended value of vitamin D. That is amazing. And the thing is, if you go for uh, farm-raised salmon, something I do do from time to time, good quality farm-raised salmon, it only has a quarter of that amount of uh, vitamin D. Still, that's not bad. We're still talking about a lot of vitamin D, but you want to get as much as possible. So go for wild caught. The thing is, look what this says, Art. This says product of the USA and wild caught. A lot of times if you're buying frozen wild caught salmon, look on the back of the package. Sometimes it says processed in China or other parts of the world in Southeast Asia. You don't want that. You want fished, caught, and processed in the USA because you want that quality from start to finish. So go for wild caught. I don't care if it's fresh or frozen. Even though this looks like it's fresh, it has been previously frozen, but it's only been thawed one time. So get wild caught. It's gonna jump that vitamin D. If you're gonna get farm raised, I have a video about that. You wanna get really good quality farm raised. Whole Foods actually has some good quality Norwegian one. There's another brand called Moe on Amazon that I like a lot, but for vitamin D, it's all about the wild caught. Another good source of vitamin D is still in the seafood land. It's canned tuna. A three and a half ounce portion has 34% of your daily recommended value. Not too shabby at all, but there is a big difference between different kinds of tuna here. Check this out. I typically stay away from albacore tuna like this. The rule is the bigger the tuna, and albacore is a big boy, the higher the mercury level. So I don't go for albacore. Instead, I look for two words, either skipjack tuna or chunk light. Those are made from smaller tuna. So look for that. Another good thing in terms of environmentally friendly is pole and line caught. That means it's sustainably caught seafood. If it's not pole and line caught, what they actually do is just drag a net along the bottom of the seafood, or along the bottom of the floor, and grab a ton of seafood along with the tuna. You don't want that because it's devastating to the uh, environment of the ocean. So look for that, and we talked about salmon a minute ago. If you don't want to get uh, fresh salmon, get wild Alaskan pink salmon in the can. This is great for making uh, salmon patties or salmon cakes out of there, and has all of that amazing vitamin D in there. So a couple cool options right next to each other here. It's not the most pleasant tasting thing in the world, but cod liver oil is fantastic when it comes to vitamin D. A one teaspoon serving, the exact thing I took this morning, yeah, I wrote this down, has 56% of the recommended daily intake. On top of that, it has a whopping 150% of the daily recommended amount of vitamin A, which is almost unheard of, and it has tons of omega-3 fatty acids. The problem is it tastes fishy and pretty much what you think cod liver oil would taste like, I don't care, it's worth it. Uh, they do have flavored ones like lemon here, but it's natural flavors, you don't want that. There is one on Amazon that is flavored with real cinnamon oil and mint oil. I'll leave that link down below. Um, but too much vitamin A is also a bad thing, so I would take this three times a week. Uh, I just started taking it this morning for the new, uh, going into the season of fall and winter. But I talked at the beginning about a supplement too. I just ordered 
the supplement uh, from Amazon that has vitamin D, the zinc, and vitamin C in one. It's very high quality. The recommended daily dosage of each is super high. Vitamin C is super important for boosting your immune system. I think we all know that, but it's also really good for helping your skin look and feel great and it helps fight free radicals from attacking your cells. So why don't we talk about some of the best vitamin C sources here in the produce section, and then find these items in the middle aisle, maybe in snack food, where you can get a nice uh, boost of vitamin C in a snack form. One of the best vitamin C produce items is peppers. A half a cup, listen to this, a half a cup serving of red peppers has 150% of your recommended daily allowance. Fantastic stuff. but. Peppers are also on the dirty dozen, so I really highly recommend getting organic peppers. Oranges, everyone knows oranges are high in vitamin C, which also means orange juice is high in vitamin C. But here's my issue with orange juice. I rarely drink it because even though it comes from oranges, it has a lot of high natural fructose in it. If I do drink orange juice, it's the freshly squeezed one from the grocery store. Why? It's raw, cold pressed, unfiltered and it's not pasteurized. When you get most juices from the store, they're pasteurized at a very high temperature and they're come concentrate. Orange juices from concentrate are the fresh juice like this, have all the moisture or water removed out of them and is down to a solid base. They oftentimes add additives and preservatives to that. And then when it comes time, they add water back to it. It's so processed at that point. It's so pasteurized at that point. To me, it's just sugar water. You're much better off getting fresh pressed orange juice. And you know what? I've seen amazing deals at like Mariano's and Jewel here in Chicagoland. It's cheaper to actually buy their fresh pressed orange juice than to buy it. I've calculated the price. So if you're gonna do it, get that. I usually dilute it with half a cup of water so I'm not having too much sugar. And there's a few more items here at the grocery store. Somehow, whenever we come to the produce section, I always talk about kale. Kale has a lot of vitamin C but because it's on the dirty dozen, you really wanna get organic kale and always stick with the green kale up top here. It's called Dinosaur Lacinato Tuscan or- uh, Black. Black, thank you, Art. The green curly kale is not my favorite. Uh, broccoli is always high in vitamin C. You can get conventional broccoli. You really wanna get organic kale because it's very uh, high in the dirty dozen. And then right behind you, Art, is another one that is not only keto approved, just like the uh, broccoli and the kale, but it's high in vitamin C. And just like the broccoli, you don't have to uh, get uh, organic. You can buy conventional because they have natural chemicals or compounds in them that deter pests from eating them, right? Also on the list of high uh, vitamin C uh, fruits is mangoes. Now, this is the fresh produce stuff. Everyone knows, that, yeah, it's fresh, but sometimes you gotta cook it, chop it, prepare it. What if you go to the middle aisles and find healthy nutrient dense snacks and foods that contain these items? that'll help boost your immune system without other bad ingredients. Let's go check it out. Along the great wall of snacks here, I found some really high vitamin C snacks that are really good other ingredients in there too. So check this out. We talked about mangoes. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt to buy a mango, wait for it to ripen and peel it. You can buy freeze dried mangoes or just dried mangoes that are kind of sticky and naturally sweet. And even though this is organic and this one isn't, it doesn't matter. Mangoes are not on the dirty dozen, they're on the clean 15. And look at that, it clearly says it right there. Just make sure the other ingredients do not contain any oil or any sugar, because sugar is really bad for your immune system. This would be a great snack. Another one I didn't mention over in the produce section is strawberries. Well, it's September now, strawberry season's over, and I absolutely hate buying fruit that's out of season that comes from other countries because it's expensive and it's never as good as like fresh ripe summer strawberries but when it's freeze dried like this i'm totally down with that once again saying that it's uh, an excellent source of vitamin c always on the dirty dozen are strawberries so you want to get organic and make sure there's no other added ingredients like sugar or oil great stuff it's gonna be a little pricey but i'm sure we can find a better price maybe in bulk we talked about cauliflower right check this out i've talked about this one before it's a alternative to uh, oatmeal. It's cauliflower hot cereal. I love this brand. Everything they make is pretty much Bobby approved. Look at the ingredients. So it starts with almond protein powder and coconut flakes. Then it has freeze dried cauliflower and freeze dried strawberries. So a double dose of vitamin C's and it's uh, coconut flakes in there and sweetened with a little bit of coconut sugar. But we're only talking about a teaspoon of paleo lower glycemic sweetener 
like coconut sugar. That's super duper cool. And then kale, high in vitamin C. I make my own kale chips. Heck, back in the day, I have a recipe for barbecue kale chips. And in my uh, cookbook, the Keto Meal Prepping Cookbook, we have barbecue keto uh, chips with a uh, sugar-free uh, brown sugar made from sugar alcohols. I'll put that link down below. But this one says kale with, I'm guessing vampire killers probably uh, garlic, which is really good for your immune system too. Wow, wow, wee wow. Look at these ingredients. Everything's organic, which is great for the kale because it's dirty dozen and the peppers. So you're getting a double dose of vitamin C there. Look at the flavoring though. Chickpea miso, organic chickpea fermented funk. Really lovely ingredients. It's a little more expensive, obviously, when you buy it. Homemade's the way to go. I'll put that link down below. It's super easy. And they don't have it here at the store, but for all my Brazilian friends out there, and Sergio, who now lives in uh, Brasilia, introduced me to acerola cherries. You can get them frozen on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. I have a freezer full of them. I highly recommend getting them too, because an acerola cherry has literally, I think it's like 10 times the amount of vitamin C as an orange. It comes in a frozen bag. There's no other additives. Add that to a smoothie. The amount of vitamin C is off the charts. I really believe vitamin C is important in fresh forms, a supplement like the one I talked about before, and in that acerola and snacks. The more vitamin C, the more better. Zinc is really good for your immune system, but your body does not store any zinc. So you have to get it every day. I think the best way to do it was with foods high in zinc and the supplement I talked about earlier. Foods high in zinc are beef, pork, and lamb. What was it? Like a three and a half ounce portion has 44% of the recommended daily value of uh, uh, zinc. That's really good because I normally eat about four to six ounces. The kind of beef matters. Check this out. A lot of you guys know what I'm going to say already, but you really want to go for 100% grass-fed beef or grass-fed and grass-finished. The two mean the same thing. If it doesn't say one of those, if it just says grass-fed, it's probably finished on grain. Organic is not as important because 100% grass-fed basically is organic, but grass-fed beef has a higher nutritional profile than grain-fed beef. This is gonna be GMO corn and soy, unless it's organic ground beef, and corn-fed, grain-fed beef is higher inflammatory. Uh, food and inflammation leads to more sicknesses. So you really wanna get ground beef. It's available everywhere in the 100% grass-fed form. I was gonna say in a second that it's hard to find any good uh, organic or pasture-raised pork at the grocery store. I've never seen this before. Look at this, you guys, from Canada. What up, Canada up north, eh? This is organic ground pork. This is new. How much is this? $7 a pound, a little pricey, right? But normally I don't buy any pork at the grocery store. I get it from locally sourced farms or co-ops because if it's not organic or better yet pasture-raised, all the pork in the grocery store is factory farm GMO pig. Go to eatwild.com. You can plug in your zip code and search for locally sourced co-ops and markets and, and uh, farmers that sell that stuff near you, including locally sourced pasture raised eggs. But this is actually a Bobby approved pork and I love making like pork burgers and pork kefta out of that. And then ground lamb, I don't see it here, but it's in the case over there. Almost all lamb is 100% grass fed and those are great sources of zinc. Let's go talk about a couple more sources really quick. I've got a couple of seeds in my cart that are nutritional powerhouses when it comes to zinc and actually other things too. Uh, hemp hearts are fantastic. If you're a Costco member, get the big bag of Manitoba Farms hemp hearts from Canada. I've heard from fans that you guys are very proud of that and the price at Costco is gangbusters. These are not only high in zinc, oh my gosh, protein fiber, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, great stuff. But to three tablespoons serving of this has 30 to 40% of the daily recommended value of uh, zinc. Really, really good stuff. And if you're looking for ways to use this, you can sprinkle it over salads and put it in smoothies. But this time of year, it's pumpkin spice season. I have a, a recipe for pumpkin spice keto oatmeal, swapping out oats with hemp hearts. It's so tasty, easy to make. You can do a big batch or overnight style. I'll put that recipe down below. These are expensive, but they're great. And these sprouted pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are packed with zinc. Uh, you may recognize this bag because at Costco, they have the same exact one for literally, I think half price than any other grocery store. I was just there the other day and I'm gonna start buying them now because it's cold and flu season. And the cool thing about this is, look at this, the zinc here. 
has 20% of the daily recommended amount for only a quarter cup serving. And the beauty of this brand here is that it's sprouted. Anytime you have sprouted seeds or sprouted grains, they're easier to digest and your body is able to derive more nutrition from them. This is fantastic stuff that I highly recommend getting. Um, you know, all the time you buy those like zinc supplements like uh, emergencies and airborne, and they have zinc, but they have a lot of other cruddy ingredients we've talked about in the past, like fake sugar, real sugar, natural flavor, artificial coloring. That's a great source of zinc. Another great source is right here. It's not for everyone. I'm going to put it out there right now, but it's smoked oysters. Oysters are so packed in zinc, it's crazy. And these are nice because these are packed in olive oil. I actually found one here. This is even better. I would go with this one. Packed in extra virgin olive oil. It says product of South Korea. Those are sardines. So, nope, thank you, Art. Obviously, I'm not looking what I'm doing. You're gonna go for this one then. Why don't they give the oysters the love or the extra virgin olive oil? Come on, man. But okay, olive oil still not bad. There's no other ingredients in here. I had to write this down. This is crazy, guys. Six medium sized oysters has 291 percent of the daily recommended value. That's crazy. Now, I'm not a big fan of fresh oysters. It's not my thing. If you're pregnant or prone to uh, other health issues, you don't want to get fresh oysters. Try this. They're absolutely loaded. Uh, I think they have a nice flavor because they're smoked and has that uh, olive oil, not extra virgin. But man, when it comes to zinc, that is a powerhouse, dude. All right, fams, I'm taking the elevator to Art's floor to finish this video. That's it. Art and I rocked it. We show you the best foods in the grocery store that are rich in vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D, things you really want to boost your immune system. Uh, check out that supplement down below. I really think you want that too, in addition to the foods and fresh foods at the grocery store. If you want more videos like this, especially now that the weather is turning, you let Art and I know. Also, like, subscribe, share. I think the only way Art, the channel grows, is by them spreading the love, telling your friends, your family about us. Uh, hit the bell icon below the video because we have so much content going live. We don't want you to miss out. Uh, from the north side of Chicago, from the first place, Chicago Cubs, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.